Hello Kules, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on the latest as usual. We start with our president, Joan Laporta, who is reportedly very angry with Barcelona results lately after spending over 200 million euros in the summer. But guess what? He's still 100% confident in manager Xavi. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about Manchester United left-back Diogo Dalot, it has been reported that the Barcelona defensive target wants to continue at Manchester United despite strong Barcelona links. We are also going to be discussing on that as well. So guys, before we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. After Barca's 3-1 defeat in El Clasico on Sunday, it was revealed that Xavi's win record stood at 56%, the worst out of any manager to have coached the club for over 50 games, with back-to-back -back defeats at the hands of Inter Milan and Real Madrid as well. The question around the club legend's future has been asked with many suggesting that a sack could be imminent. However, such rumors have been put to bed but by a recent report. According to the latest information provided by Spanish outlet Sport, President Juan Laporta and his board directors remain confident about Javi's position as manager, despite the latest loss to Los Blancos. It has been stated that Laporta is believed to be feeling angry and helpless after spending around 200 million euros in the summer window and yet some of the results have been far from acceptable this term. However, it is mentioned that there are no doubts over Xavi's future at the Spotify Camp Nou as he is considered the best possible candidate to lead the club's rebuild. After all, who had only managed Al-Sad before joining Barcelona took mid-season from Ronald Koeman last year and overturned the club's fortunes with relatively quickness. Guiding Barca to a second place finish while playing an attractive brand of football, the club finally look like they are heading towards the right direction. Despite the disappointment in the Champions League under his tenure so far, La Liga, which proves to be the most accurate barometer for the site caliber, has shown that Xavi's Barcelona side are on the up. Just this season alone, the side that finished 13 points behind Los Merengues are just 3 behind them now. As a result, the decision to trust Xavi's process makes sense at all levels. Honestly speaking, after everything we have been saying with anger, with bitterness about the way Xavi have been tactically playing with the team recently, at the end when we look at things critically, there is no other candidate out there that you can say, alright, Laporta, sack Xavi and get this man, there is nobody out there. If you think there's anybody out there which you think Xavi or Laporta should trust to be the next manager of Barca, then please, you can go to the comment section below and let me know. I'll be happy to see your own suggestions. Um, it has been a very bad week for us after disappointing results in El Clasico yesterday and of course after the mid the midweek disastrous result at the Camp Nou against Inter Milan, which we played very poorly in both games. And because of that Javi's future has been looking the type. The media have been talking about what holds for Javi in the future, what will Laporta do because Laporta is angry and he has every right to be angry. You know, everybody, any Barca fan have every right to be angry about the way things have been for us, especially after the international break. You know, Laporta, as we all know, took a risk very big risk at that spending over 200 million euros just to ensure that this squad is being revitalized in the summer bringing some quality players in fact we took risk because the financial levers many things that were risk in order to ensure that javi has all the players at his disposal so some fans be like okay i don't think there's any there should be no excuse for javi because all the players that he wanted was given to him by laporta and all the players that you know, Javi wanted them to leave, they did just that and they left, whether on loan or on permanent. So let's see, but I still think that the board should give Javi some time. You know, it's too early to, for us to say, Laporta, go ahead, go ahead and sack Javi, go ahead. He's not capable, he's not good enough for the job. 
of course when we see some tactical nonsense from Xavi uh, which definitely I don't think it's cool um, but the, the funny thing is he needs to learn from his mistakes something that to be honest I've not seen from him so far it seems as though when the media or the coach or whatever sorry or the, the, the Barca fans say this Xavi thinks that they don't know about coaching so I won't listen to them but that is not supposed to be the case there are certain things that it's clear you must not be that tactician you must not be a trained coach to understand certain things if you are a lover of Barca there are some certain things that you just need to know like okay this coach should not do this it, it is costing us it's lining up or whatever it's not like this those are what fans always say but they are not coaches by profession right but Xavi proves to be stubborn and his loyalty to Busqueda is killing him as well so I think there are certain things that Xavi needs to, 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 to do it fast to change because we know Barca like that we the Barca fans by nature we are so impatient by the nature of the, even Real Madrid in fact those big clubs Real and Barca especially are the most impatient fan base so you don't expect Xavi to be here for a long time fucking up like this to be honest we need to improve if not it's gonna be you know it's gonna be hurtful for us hopefully we we try to turn things around pick the results and have a good season of course trying to win La Liga will be our goal then on to the next story of discussion despite spending nearly 200 million euros including add-ons this summer Barcelona have some gapping holes in their team their starting right back is the same player as seven years ago why there is still no direction replaced for Busquets in search for those two players Barcelona have been scouting several players one of them is Manchester United's Diogo Dalot the Portuguese international has been linked with the club over the past few days as the chosen right back, but Barcelona have been dealt with a huge blow in their pursuit for it. According to Samuel Luxhurst, Dalot wants to continue on Manchester United. His contract ends next summer, but the Red Devils have an option of unilaterally extending it for another year. As it stands, Dalot is prioritizing signing a renewal with United, even though the club are yet to open any sort of talks with a player regarding the same. The 23-year-old was playing a um, second fiddle to Aaron Wan-Bissaka for a few seasons running, but has managed to win a starting spot in the team, other Eric Den Haag. He is the only other player apart from David De Gea who have started all 13 games for United this season. Dallas recent performances have brought a few a fair few eyes on him as Barcelona will face competition from Juventus Atletico Madrid, AC Milan and Roma, even if he does not end up signing a contract renewal. Earlier this year, Ten Hag was seen or was keen on signing then Barcelona right back Sejno Des as a replacement for Juan Bissaka. However, the Englishman failed to leave the club given his fairly huge price tag. As such, Des ended up joining AC Milan, whereas Juan Bissaka has continued at United for at least another six months. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.